This is part of my collection of cast iron cookware. This is my pantry in the kitchen as you can see. It is quite full. We haven't been able to keep food in here for years. But it um, started to get a little crowded so I had to expand a lot of my cookware into the dining room. So I want to show you my solution. This is my new kitchen cookware stand. I got the stand at Home Depot and it's rated to be able to hold 4,800 pounds. That's a total weight, not weight per shelf of course. But uh, this worked out great. I had so much cookware just littering my whole house and I needed um, a good accessible area for it. So this is my solution. Let me take you on a tour. All right, on my top shelf, I have my woks. On the left, that's a modern lodge wok. In the middle, that is a vintage lodge wok. There's a chicken fryer hanging out up there. On my next shelf, these are pieces that I use a lot. There is a couple pieces of my all clad stainless. Up front, I've got a few number threes and a beautiful Griswold number four. Uh, in the back there are some number fives that we serve dinner in sometimes. There's a few modified lodge skillets that I've done. And then on down the line, there of course are my beautiful Finex skillets. Next up is my Solid Technics cookware. And lastly, my lodge heat treated rust resistant cookware. Also on the shelf are a few of my cutting boards. I keep a few actually in the kitchen for easy access. Here's a few lodge pots. In the back are my mini servers, which are actually rust resistant as well. There's a two quart BSR sauce pot hanging out. And there is my collection of Crisby. Crisby is a great seasoning for your cast iron. All right, next shelf. There's my Le Creuset cast iron enamel cookware. The rest of my all clad pieces. There's a uh, large muffin pan hanging out back there. And here is my 13 and a quarter inch skillet. That gets used a lot. In the back, that is the Lucky Decade Foundry 12 inch cast iron skillet. They're a new player in cast iron, but um, I think they're gonna do really well. Next shelf. There are my steel mixing bowls. There's my Innova sous vide cooker. Just some basic food service items in the back. Here is my food saver. This is the game saver model. I love this. Um, the suction on it is much better than the regular models. And hanging out in back there is my vintage crock pot. Those crock pots to me are the best because they have heavy glass lids. All right, on the third shelf, Here's some pine trivets that I made. I use these a lot when we serve food in hot cast iron skillets. I just use these to sit the skillets on. There's my Lodge Sportsman Grill given to me by Lodge Manufacturing. In the back is our KitchenAid mixer. And then those are just some trays that we serve dinner on sometimes when we eat in the living room. All right, we're not done yet. Okay, this is the side of the setup. These are some of the lights that I use when I shoot my videos. And next we have my collection of carbon steel knives. Just got this knife magnet yesterday. I found this at Ikea and it works pretty good. Had to rig up a way to attach it to the side of this, but um, got some Case XX knives, some Dexters, some old Hickories, Sabatier. These were all refinished by a man named Todd Sappenfield. Uh, you can find him on Facebook. He does amazing work, amazing work. And um, so that's my carbon steel. And then next, this is my Solid Technics Big Skillet. And that's it. I wanted to give you a closer look at these hooks. I found these hooks at Ikea in Atlanta. They're about $2.99 for five of them, but they're really strong steel. I think right now the heaviest thing I have up here are my Finex skillets. And I'm quite sure that if I needed to, I could hang my Lodge 15 inch skillet from one of these as well with no problem. But this is a great solution for hanging your cookware. So there it is, 
my new kitchen cookware station. Thanks for watching.